Good morning, Mary. Okay, so just got my first Amazon order, and this is Amazon.com.au, and this is one of five. <laughs> All right, went a little crazy. I finally became an adult and invested in flop hangers. Okay, alright. They look okay. There are a hundred for fifty. I think it was fifty dollars. I'll leave the link below. Let's have a look at them. Mm. I don't know if they're as sturdy. So I just bought that other brand downstairs that I had got from Spotlight and they seem similar. This one just has a little bit more zhuzh, like it has like a tie, a tie rail and a little clip rail if you want to hang something, um, which doesn't bother me because these are all our hangers. And I'm pushing them in, they seem the same, they're the same width and everything and they're as strong as each other. So that's all I really wanted to make sure i got hubby another hoodie his tommy hill figure hoodie that he loved he hauled this in navy off amazon so i saw it come up on my amazon um suggestions and this is it in gray so i got something else from amazon this morning as well it's uh, a really great addition to the house <laughs> won't cause you too much trouble just a little bit. <laughs> a two year old little boy. <laughs> Whoa! I just hear box. Yeah. Oh, you. Good night. Oh, why do you have your juice box all over you? Oh, God. Okay, in other news, DHL arrived. We're going to do an unboxing right here, right now, of this little item. This was a impulse purchase because I saw my beautiful Karis. I mean, I've seen this everywhere, but there was a couple of reasons. Let me just look in close. And I will explain that. Oh, cute. These do look really great, aren't they? They do their shopping bag. So here we go. Cute. If you really want good packaging, like pristine, shop online. Little draw box. Oh my god, it's tiny. Can you guys see that? You're gonna freak. This is just crazy. Ah! Oh my god. It's so cute. It is so cute. Oh my god. What is happening to me? Okay, I've just turned the brightness down a little bit. This is the Zoe wallet in the rose ballerine or the light pink. I'm a little, it's really soft. Like this is like, almost like box leather. That is definitely gonna get marked, I suppose. So this is a Zoe wallet. There's a couple of reasons why I sort of just bit the bullet and said, okay, I'm gonna try this out or I'm gonna get it online. Firstly, it came up online. It's been sold out for ages. If you can get your hands on it, that's pretty amazing. It is the size of my Marie wallet. Do you guys remember my Marie wallet? 
I did a review and unboxing on it and it sold out. I sold that wallet because the function of it just um, didn't work. It kept snapping open because of the way, it, way, the way it folded. Anyway, this is literally the size of the Marie. I always missed the Marie, but I just knew that it was kind of like default, like it had a default because of the way it just opened, like my stuff would just fall out of it. So anyway, I knew that this was as small as the Marie, pretty much, like you can hold it in your hand. So a great compact wallet and offers the same amount of things and a zipper pocket, which I do utilize my zipper pockets with coins, whoops, which I do utilize my zipper pockets with coins. But the winning factor <laughs> is this. I miss the brass hardware so much. They do the colored uh, like leather buttons like on my uh, Emily, which I'll show you. Do the colored leather buttons on everything basically in the last three, two, three years. There's been all these colored leather buttons and I just, I'm at a point where I just can't stand it anymore. I will not invest my money in them. They rub, they're just not well wearing at all. And then on top of that, the leather pull. So the pull of the zipper pocket is this little twin leather piece, which at first was like a new kind of design. Everyone was into it, but it again is not well wearing. And to be honest, it's just, it's really quite cheap. So hence the reason that these wallets were a different price range. So this Zoe retails in Australia for $575. So that just shows you that there's more quality to it than this because this was $510. Um, so again, we have the brass button on the front, which has Louis Vuitton in it. And when we open it up, beautiful snap closure, it's a tri-fold, like so. And it has the zipper pull, and it's so shiny and pretty. Let's get you a nice shot. It's so shiny and pretty, look how shiny it is. Oh, that's nice, it's not a dull one. It's got the miniature little LV zipper pull, which is so nice. I'm just so over those little leather zipper pulls. So that's a pretty teeny weeny uh, coin compartment, but that's okay. The, I'm so used to what the Marie was like. So there's the textile card. <clears throat> Hang on one sec. Yeah, so sorry. That's the little coin compartment there, and it is quite small. Again, it's lined with the rose ballerine or the pink leather interior. So I can imagine that people, you know, don't want to put coins in there and or don't put coins. You have a card slot here, card slot here, a card slot here and a card slot there. And then it's got Louis Vuitton Paris made in France stamped down on the bottom. And then, yeah, as I said, the nice big card compartment, but it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And I love that it has a little coin case. I just like that. Let's just see. I'd probably, and then, sorry, it has a card, a one card case on the back there. But this is just so smooth and soft. Let me show you some bills. This is Australian money. It's very colorful. Oh, that's so cool. So that is perfect. Perfect. That's nice. That's really nice to have in a compact wallet, a full bill compartment. I'm sure heaps of people love that. Here's my Gucci card case, actually. So you can see that. <laughs> it's, it's bigger. It's bigger than the Zoe. Like as in, it's a little bit longer. Okay, how cute! Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's I the only thing I probably am a little hesitant about is this. <laughs> it's so smooth and obviously light. So this is my Gucci Marmont. 
flap and currently have my <laughs> toiletry 15 in here, my um, four key and I was using my Emily wallet and my sunnies and, my, or not my sunnies, no they didn't fit, but and my phone 7 plus uh, was all in here. So obviously now I can still keep my toiletry 15. Putting the Zoe in here is just crazy because now there's just so much more space. I just figure you have to be so much more careful with that front. How's that? See that? Oh, that's great. I mean, it was fine before with my Emily as well, but obviously that's just a much better space saving tactic. Here's my car case as well. I can actually put that in the pocket. So that's pretty good. So there we go. That's all of it down the side. There's the, the Zoe. Cute. Oh, wow. Okay. Just stopped back in from the mall. A quick pickup video. So return some things at Sephora and then shop some more things because why not. Went into Mecca Cosmetics and worked out that they have their by Terry range. The by Terry range is in Mecca so I'm so stoked about that. However, the um, Cellar Rose CC cream that Lydia uses and raves about. I could only get two little testers for it. So there, there they are. I could only get two little testers of it because it's out of stock right now. Um, I guess in Australia. So she gave me two little testers and that was in the sun flash. Sunny flash. I picked up a pencil sharpener and this was from NARS. Okay, eight dollars. That's awesome. I was like so worried it'd be like a thirty dollar sharpener, and trust me, it's possible here in Australia. But eight dollars. That's awesome. So this is the Nars uh, pencil sharpener, and I got this from Mecca, and it's uh oh, it's really cool too. It's like matte. It's like matte finish. That's cool, like that packaging. So it's two size, so the larger pencils and a normal pencil, and it's got a catch. So it'll catch the shavings, which I really like because they're so messy. So I needed a pencil sharpener, so that's great. And also from Mecca, uh, Sephora don't stock Too Faced, which is interesting. I never know about these brands, there's always drama, so maybe there's drama with Sephora and Too Faced. I got a new Better Than Sex mascara. I swear by this mascara and not the waterproof, just the classic one. I have mentioned it many, many times. It's amazing. So back at Sephora, I exchanged my, um, the spray, the finishing spray. I just found my Dubai one, my Dr. Rochelle's online. So I ordered more of that and I changed out the color of my forever skin it was i picked it up originally in the 35 but i needed it in the 30 uh, which is a rose so it is a pink undertone a rose undertone not a yellow so that was that and then i got another anastasia brow wiz and this is an actual brow wiz it's not a brow define which i really wanted to get and it's in the dark brown and they were sold out last time I was there. I picked up some Nespresso. How colorful is their bag? Of course, Nespresso pods as always. And then when I, when I came home, there was this on the doorstep. Oh, that was another thing. Mum got me this from Priceline because it was on sale. Huge sales at Priceline Pharmacy here in Australia. And it's the Maybelline Brow Drama, which I swear by in a rush. So we're doing a lot of unboxings. Is a water from David Jones, which is a department store. Yeah, girl. 
Ah, ha, ha. I am totally ordering online with these guys for Chanel Beauty. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorge? Oh my God. This is packaged full Chanel Beauty style. Like, that is so, so nice. Okay, so what did we get? So this I had to obviously get my hands on because everybody has it. This looks so pretty, so nice. So here we go. I picked up the refreshing, freshing tan mist body spray that everybody's been raving about. I just see it everywhere on YouTube and I was like, oh my God, I have to get that before it sells out because Chanel sell out so quickly. So it is the, you can read that in French. <laughs> and this is the beautiful bottle it's in. Oh, wow, wow. The way Maria described this in her most recent vlog, <laughs> I can't smell it unless I spray it. Hang on one second. Spritz. Oh my God, that smells beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my God, that smells divine. That is amazing. Oh my God, it smells like just beauty. Oh my God. So you should, probably shouldn't put it in your hair, but oh, that's so nice. Oh guys, if you can find this online, I will link it below. Check it out. Nice. Oh, this is so fun. Love David Jones online. Look how pretty it is. Du -du. This is like full sit down unboxings. Totally ordering Chanel online. They do it so nice. Okay, and this is the Radiance Cream Foundation. Yes? Yes. However, I'm interested if I guess it's just the foundation in a pot because the picture on the online store has a brush that comes with it or it's standing with it. Look at their packaging guys. Honestly, honestly, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's a book. That's so pretty. So it's got the little spatula. Okay, it must not. It does come with the brush. Oh, come on. That is a really good buy, you guys. Actually, did I get the prices? Let me get the prices. Hey, I have just found the price for you guys. So the uh, the self-tanning body mist came in at 96 Australian dollars on the David Jones website. And this little duo, they should really call it a duo because I didn't know if it would come with the brush. This little duo is the Ultimate Radiance um, Generating Creme Foundation and I chose the color 30 and it comes with the little brush. This is 180, so quite pricey. Quite pricey, but nevertheless, it's Chanel makeup and that's, you know, to be expected. I remember when I bought my first compact from Chanel and I had just finished fashion college and I was so proud because it was so darn expensive. So it's got the beautiful Chanel there and then it's got the gold logo on top. Ooh. Oh, shoot, so thick. So thick. I thought this was more like a, okay. I thought this was more like a BB cream, but all right. Here's the little brush. It's so cute. Little CCs and it's just slipped out. And it's like a little, oh my God, it's beautiful. Like a little, okay, let's take a bit. There's so much. <laughs> just scoop it off the lid. There's so much on the lid. Should we put some on? May as well put some on. Ooh, 
Ooh. Ooh, nice. This doesn't really have a scent to it. Ooh. God, it's so easy putting stuff on with the brush. That's a really cute brush. That is such a cute brush. <laughs> it's like a mini kabuki brush, but like an angle. Love that. It's got no real scent. Let me look in the mirror. I've got a mirror here. I got my double facet, girl. Ooh, shit, girl. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at, that's my other side, nothing. Oh, that's really nice. Oh. Oh, I totally recommend that. A lot thicker than I thought it was gonna be, the consistency is, let me bring it up close. So it actually looks like quite a thick cream. However, it goes on quite sheer. It's not like a thick kind of gluggy cream. Does that make sense? And I love this little brush. I'm so glad it comes together. For a second there I was like, oh my God. It's not, it's advertised like it's got the brush but it doesn't come. So cute! So cute. Love that. And that's what it looks like. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna link all of these below, especially the Shani. That spray is amazing. The rave is real, people. It is real. All right, I am gonna take my beauty products I just showed you. Ooh, so exciting. Really excited about this stuff, especially this. So glad I got my hands on it. Uh, I'm gonna take you with me upstairs uh, this vlog I'm gonna do speed hanging. So I'm gonna take you in the wardrobe and hang with all those new hangers, all of our hanging clothes. So you can come with me to do that. Quite exhausting that is my side done um, with so all of the plastics have been changed into flock and the plastics I've just got them as my tea I've just got them in an old nappy box at the moment that has to be folded uh, but yeah so that looks nice you can see all the silver hangers like it's silver the new hangers and they're all the plastic black hangers so we've got to do wheel side now but that was good hopefully you could just see i guess see that spit up it's there's no light in this walk-in because it's obviously just all dark so uh i'm just going to do wheel stuff and that will be it All done, all hung up. Look at this, look at this hair. All done, all hung up, everything is up. Those hangers are fantastic. If you are interested in flocked hangers, I highly recommend these Amazon ones. They're packs of 100. You know, it's better to have more than not have enough at all. And uh, I will link them below. I am so happy that Amazon is available for Australians now because it wasn't before, or you could shop on amazon.com, but maybe the sellers wouldn't ship all the way to Australia, so I'm stoked. All my links will be left below. I have also done more damage on Amazon, but 
it's not for me it's for will but he doesn't know that so i'll show you when that stuff comes in anyway guys thanks for watching this vlog take care peace